Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. How are you? Are you ready for today's class? Yes. Thank you so much for joining. We're going to start yes, this yes. class soon. Let's hear what we got. We're going to keep working with um, section number four, comparison with adjectives. So that's the thing we're going to work today. Yesterday, we started a little bit on this one. Today, we're going to get deep on this one so we can like be clear about the different examples that we have on this exercise, okay, on this content, which is comparison with adjectives. Okay, so thank you so much for joining. Welcome. It's nice to have you all. Thank you so much for being here. And it's, it's wonderful. It's nice to have you. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Uh, can't complain. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, uh, be ready. Be ready. We're going to have yeah. uh, a little bit of yes, practicing on this thing that is called adjectives. We're going to get more examples and more information about adjectives. How do we use them and how do we work with them? Okay. Yesterday, we started on this one. Yes, and today I hope that we can have the chance to practice a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so thank you so much for being here and be ready. Okay, be ready. Any question before we begin? No questions? Everything is awesome? Yes. So thank you so much for joining. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to continue working on this one that is called. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining. Very good. Welcome. Okay, here we go. Yes. Okay, doggy, here we go. Let me show you really quick. What is this thing about? I was telling you like today's class is gonna be about adjectives. So we're gonna work with those. Let's begin with the following video where we have the grammar part and then we're going to have more explanations about the content. So here we go. Let's listen and watch. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. 
noun or subject plus a verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples. He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Sorry, my microphone. Thank you. Okay, I forgot. So there we have the grammar part about this um, topic, which is quite interesting. We're going to get into some, let's say, practice. Okay, so additional information so you can have it clear. In English, sometimes we have some rules. Life for instance here, as you may see. Yeah, look at these examples, right? Please, um, Sebastiana, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Please read the examples that you see here. The information, this one at the beginning. All. Oh, yes, yes, this one, please. This one here. Uh, older, heavier, more expensive are comparative forms. The comparative is ER, for example, older or more, more expensive. Exactly. Thank you so much, right? So here we have an age. I am 92. And here we have another age that is 93. So that means this, um, I said grandpa, he is all, right? Yeah, that is true, right? So I can say about grandpa, oh, look at grandpa, he is all. Yeah, how old is he? 92, right? 92. Yeah, but he is married with this beautiful woman, right? Yes. So I can say, yeah, she is older than him right so i can say grandma is older than grandpa so now is a comparative adjective right here also we have a comparative if you see kilograms right we have 40 here and here we have 50. so i can say oh this thing is heavy right but this one here is heavier than this one. Yes. Also here with the prices. Look at the prices. High heels, right? $120 and $175. So I can say, oh, these high heels are expensive, right? So when you go to Pardos, right? Or when you go to Siman, right? You see high heels. And you can say, oh, look at these high heels, though, right? These high heels are expensive. $120, that's a lot of money, right? But then you see these ones, right? <gasps> Look at these ones, Jesus. These high heels are more expensive than these ones, yes? So you are comparing in here, right? Here we have some rules about the comparative adjectives, as you may see. Just give me a minute while I take, move something here from soon. If you see, the first rule is we add ER, 
like older, heavier. Yes, older, older, slow, slower. Uh, cheap, cheaper. Nice, nicer, late, later, big, bigger. Just be careful with some adjectives like big, hot, think, also wet. We double the last consonant and then we add ER. So we have bigger, hotter, and thinner, right? Also, um, words ending in letter RY, we add IER, like easy, easier, heavy, heavier, early, earlier, yeah? And then we have some examples. Yes, uh, Marvin, are you here? Marvin? No, he isn't here. Marvin? No, no, he isn't. No? Oh, that's rare. He's usually here. Not today, right? I don't know what happened with him. Okay, Oscar, hello, Oscar. Please help us. Do me a favor and read the examples, Oscar, please. Hello, teacher. Nice to have you. Brown is old, but that thing is older. It's yeah. cheaper to go by car or by train. Very good. Helen wants a bigger car. Yes. Um, this coat is okay, but I think the other one is nicer. Very good. Don't write a letter. It's easier to call. Very good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. Here we have this one far, farther. Be careful with this one because sometimes this thing is, is going to have irregular. How far is the station? A mile? No, it's a farther, about two miles. Okay. This is the way we use them in context. Uh, adjectives. Also, here we have more examples. Long words, like two, three, four syllables. We use more. Careful, more careful. Expensive, more expensive. Polite, more polite. Interesting, more interesting. This is about comparative adjectives. For example, uh, here we have these examples here. Let me see. Kathy, uh, Nicole, Salazar. Larios. Read these three examples, Kathy Nicole Salazar. Please. You will be more careful. I don't like my job. I want to do something more interesting. Is it more expensive to go by car or by train? Beautiful. Thank you so much. So, if you see, we are where we are comparing, we're going to use more and then the adjective with nothing. Here we have the uh, these things that we call irregulars. Be careful with the regulars because these ones are like some have difficult. Good, well, better, bad, worse. Yes, the weather wasn't very good yesterday, but it's better today. What am I doing? Comparing. Do you feel better today? No, I feel worse. <laughs> oh, I hey, love this example. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I remember when I got COVID, right? It's like, oh, that was terrible. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> oh, the people, they usually ask me about it. Oh, how do you feel today? Oh, I feel worse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, which is worse, a headache or a toothache? So, you are comparing one in there. Okay. Don't forget that one. Don't forget that here you're comparing. Comparative adjectives. Okay. Look at this one. Let's practice these exercises in here. Let me show you really quick. Here we go. Okay, so we have heavy, heavier. What about this one? This is big and this is? Beer. Yes, can you spell it please? B I G G E R. Beautiful. What about this one? 
آه slow what is the comparative slower slower right exactly slower yes slower thank you what about this one here my gosh si no les carga me avisen right si no lo ve bien me avisen let me know okay so here we have look at this more expensive oh, oh yes very good more expensive okay expensive yeah expensive very good okay let me move it a little bit here. oh jeez what about the other one hi What is the what is the comparative? Higher. Higher. Like gasoline, right? <laughs> gasoline is getting higher and higher. Yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. What is the what is the thing one? More dangerous. More dangerous, right? Very good. Dangerous. Not dangerous. Very good. Here we're going to have this one, right? Let's begin with this one. Let's move it a little bit. Write a comparative. All, older, strong. Stronger? Yes. What doesn't kill you, make you? Stronger. Oh, we Jesus. <laughs> Stranger, right? That's something that's happy. Happier. Happier, very good. Sorry. Mother. Mother. More modern? Oh, yes. More modern. Very good. What about important? More important. Okay, more important. Very good. Yes, what about good? Better. Oh, yes, that's Marvin. Thank you so much. Good evening. Large. Larger. Larger, that is correct. Serious. Look at this one on Harry Potter. More serious. Uh, more serious, right? What about pretty? Prettier. Prettier, very good. Prettier. What about crowded? More crowded. More crowded, right? If you do not understand something here, let me know. If you do not understand the vocabulary, let me know. More crowded, very good. Here in this one, we are going to write the opposite. Okay, yes. So, younger, older. What is the opposite of colder? Colder. Oh, beautiful, that's correct. What is the opposite of cheaper? Expensive, more expensive. Oh, there you go. Very good. More expensive. What is the opposite of better? Worse. Okay. What is the opposite of neither? Neither. What is neither? Uh huh. Harder or was he? Oh, that's very good. Farther, very good. Easier. Mm -hmm. 
That's easier. More difficult. Oh, more difficult. Very good. More difficult. Very good. Okay. We're going to do this one. Okay. So it says Helen car isn't very big. She wants a bigger one. My job isn't very interesting. I want to do something more interesting. You're not very tall. Your brother is comparative. What is the thing? Taller. Exactly. Very good. David doesn't work very hard. I work. Better? No, I'm sorry. Hard? Okay, hard, but I need to add the comparative. This is going to be harder. Harder. Okay, so harder. I work harder. My chair isn't very comfortable. Yours is? Uh -huh. More comfortable. Very good. More comfortable. Very good. Very good. Your idea isn't very good. My idea is? Better. Better. Yeah. This house isn't very nice. Our house is? Nicer. Beautiful. My suitcase isn't very heavy. Your suitcase is? Heavier. Exactly. Very good. I am not very interested in art. I am? More interested. Very good. More interested. Okay. In history. Uh, okay. It isn't very warm today. It was? Yeah, was 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 the comparative for? It isn't very warm today. It was? Warmer yesterday. Very good. These tomatoes don't taste very good. The old other ones tasted better. Oh, that is correct. Better. Britain, Britain isn't very big. France is bigger. Thank you so much. Uh, Los Angeles isn't very beautiful. San Francisco is? More, More beautiful. beautiful. Exactly. Very good. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Think this knife isn't very sharp. Do you have a? sharper they have a sharper one people today aren't very polite in the past they were <laughs> oh jesus uh-huh <laughs> more polite more polite very good okay very good so this is one way that we can use comparative Okay, we have another way that we can use comparative. Just give me a minute. Uh, I'm sorry, that we can use. Um, but this one is with superlatives. Let's take a look with superlatives. With superlatives, we have also rules. Okay, like this ones. One syllable adjectives, we add EST. Long, longest, straight, straightest, big, biggest. One more time. Don't forget the double uh, consonant. Tall, tallest, large, largest, hot, hottest. Double consonant here. Two syllables, adjectives. This one's be careful because sometimes we use like this one. 
honest, must honest, famous, must famous. But with happy, we have happiest. With crazy, we have craziest. With narrow, we have narrowest. With gentler, we have gentlest. Okay, so just, just be careful with this ones. With three or more syllables, we're gonna use must. Must expensive, must dangerous, must beautiful, must difficult. And don't forget the irregular, right? With good, best, bad, worse, far, farthest. Or you can say farthest as well. A little list and many with must. Okay? Don't forget this one. So we're going to have this practice here. Okay, let's begin with the first one. Cool. Let me see what time is it so I can say the attendance. No, we still have time. Cool. Oh, let me take the attendance first. So then we can do this exercise like uh, with the correct time available. Okay, give me a minute. Ana Isela Janes, Angel, good evening. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Oh, thank you, Ana. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Andrea. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Andrea. Nice to have you. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Present teacher. Good evening. Francisco Valdomar Lopez Martinez. Francisco Valdomar Lopez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Francisco. Gerardo Jose Tepa Sanchez. I'm your teacher. Nice to have you. Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Hello, Irma Suleima. Are you here? Let me check if Irma is here. Irma? No, she isn't. She's not here. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre Escobar. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. Hello, Marvin. I think Marvin was here. But I don't, he doesn't answer. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Marvin. Good evening. Welcome. I'm sorry. Um, Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Present. Nice to have you. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. And Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernandez. Present. Okay, let's get back to the exercise so we can do it like with the correct time. Okay, here we go. We have here, we're going to include both of them. We're going to include the uh, comparative. Well, the three of them, let's say. We have the normal adjective, as you may see here. These are the normal adjectives. Let me let me get the um, this one here. Okay, so here we have the normal adjectives, right? But here we have the, the comparative, and here we have the superlative. Remember, when we have a comparative, we compare between two. And superlative, we compare in a group of people. So, busy, busier, the busiest. What about the number two? What is the number two? Cooler. That's correct. Cooler. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. Cooler, very good. And the other one is? The coolest. The, the coolest. Oh, my. Wonderful. Friendly. Uh -huh. Friendly. Friendlier, yeah. very good. Friendlier, and here we have? The friendliest. Very good. Oh my gosh. The friendliest, okay. Yeah. What about heavy? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. What about heavy? What is the adjective? Comparative. Heavier. Heavier, very good. And with uh, this superlative? The heaviest. Exactly. And nice? Nicer. Nicer. And here we have? Nicer. The nicest, very good. Noisy. Noisy. Noisier. Very good. Noisier. And here we have? The noisiest. The noisiest, very good. Okay. Or, this one is easy. Uh -huh. Older. Older, that is correct. And then we have here the, the oldest. The oldest, that's correct. Thank you so much. Safe. Oh, this one. Uh huh. What is the comparative? We have safer. <gasps> My gosh. Safer and the superlative, the safest. Very good. What about with small? Smaller. Exactly right. A smaller. Oh my gosh! I did a mistake. <gasps> Jesus. Jesus Christ. Algo pasó acá. Okay, I'm sorry. Something happened here. I don't know what's that one. Something happened here and I don't know what's that. Yeah. I'm sorry, algo pasó. Okay, a small, a smaller, and here we have the smallest, right? Oh my gosh. A smallest, very good. What about the last one? Number 10. Again. Okay. What is in number 10? Uh huh. Wet. Weather. Weather. Very good. Wet weather. And here we have the wettest, right? Okay. What are you going to do? You are going to make up sentences. Three sentences you are going to do. Okay? Lo voy a llamar uno por uno y me va a hacer tres sentences. Three sentences. La primera is going to be with este normal adjective. Right? La second sentence va a ser con este comparative. Y la tercera va a ser con superlative. Yes. Okay? So, one more time. The first one is going to be with normal adjective. So, you can say, voy a hacer la number one, I am busy. Right? Number two, comparative. Today, I am busier than yesterday. La superlative. Uh, November is the busiest month of the year. Yes. So I need you to give me three sentences. Yep. Be ready. So we are going to start. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Number two, please, with cool. Cool in Spanish is like frío. No, I'm sorry. That's cold. This is cold. Cold is this one. Yes, this is frío. Okay, can you tell me what is the meaning of cool? Oh, cool is like. Hay una canción que se llama Cool like the cool kids. Creo que se llamaba. Yeah. Cool is like somebody that is cool. 
No escuchaba la expresión cuando dicen, hey, uh, vamos a jugar video game. Oh, that's cool. Let's do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool is like genial. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, uh, my example is my best friend is cool person. Okay, very good. That is sentence uh, number one. Yes, my sister is the cooler and the fam okay. than tell me. Okay, with the second example, repeat that please, thank you. My sister is cooler than me. Oh I'm sorry to hear about it. Okay, continue. Very good. And Luis is the coolest person in the class. Okay, coolest person. Oh, beautiful. I love it, Anna. It was good. Okay. I'm sorry, Catherine, Suleima. Catherine, that was very good. Beautiful. You got it. Uh, Catherine, Nicole, Salazar, Larios. Thank you. Number three is for you. Friendly. Hello, Catherine. Yeah, let me see. Uh, friendly, with friendly. Give me three sentences. The first one with friendly. The second sentence with this one, comparative. And the third sentence with this one, what is superlative. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larius. Uh -huh. Rocio is friendly. Very good. Her is friendlier than Marian. Beautiful, that's correct. Continue. Um, Rosio is the friendly the in the. Oh, okay, you, you told me is the friendliest, right? Yes. Okay, can you repeat the last sentence, please? Rocio is the friendly. Uh huh. In. Yes, that'd be good. Good. Um, uh huh. In. In my neighbor. Excuse me. The último que dijo, the last, the last little thing that you mentioned in the, in the class, in the family, in El Salvador, yes, in Santana. Very good, Catherine. Great job. I'm sorry. Sounds okay. In, in my class. Excuse me? In my class. In my country. That's what you mentioned, right? Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Sebastiana, number four, please. Excuse me. Number number four, yes, heavy. Heavy. Um okay. Um uh, the boy is Heavy. <laughs> um, three sentences about heavy, teacher. Oh, no, just one with using heavy, another one using heavier, and another one using the heaviest. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, the refrigerator... Uh, is heavier than I no I don't know. Uh, my grandma's heavy. My grandma's refrigerator is heavier than my aunt's. My my aunt's refrigerator. <laughs> that is correct. Very good. Uh huh. And with the heaviest. Um, Mm 
the door, the iron door is heaviest than the other groups of doors. <laughs> okay, and that one you are using then, so. Ah. You... The, the iron door is heaviest, is, is the heaviest. I, I don't know when to say compare with the other doors. Oh yes, or like in the house, the in the house, in the building. Yeah. Okay. Um, the iron door is the heaviest in the building. In the building, that's correct. Very good. Building. Okay. Thank you so much, Kathy. Jornada, easy. Number five, please. Nice. Um, I'm nice. Uh -huh. My sister is nicer than me. Yes, that's correct. And then my sister is the nicest person in the world. Ah, oh, that's very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Ana Isela Janes, number six, noisy. Uh, my country is noisy. That's correct. Um, uh, uh, compar comparative, the noisy, uh, I I don't know, teacher. Oh, you need to compare two things. Um, or two animals. Here. Okay. Uh, San Salvador is is noisier than San Miguel. That's correct. That is absolutely true. Yes, people here is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yes, you can compare cities here as you want to as well. Yeah, okay. The three is, uh, for example, uh, San Salvador is the noisiest, or? Yeah, uh -huh. okay. you need to compare San Salvador with the rest of the cities. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, like San Salvador me... is... San Salvador is the noisiest city in the noisiest city in El Salvador. That is correct, right? Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. All. Oh, that one is good. That's gonna be for you, Francisco. Can you participate, Francisco? Okay, teacher. All dear. In the oldest. Thank you. Now, hágame una oración con all, una oración con older, y una oración all. with oldest. Uh, my car, my car is very old. Very good. That's correct, Francisco. With older, now with older. You need to compare. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to compare cities, places, animals, people, whatever you want. Okay. The dog of the dog of my friend is very much hot. Okay. Okay, in that one, Francisco, you need to go with the simplest, right? Yes. <sighs> For example, in, in the first sentence, you told me, my car is old. Yes, that is a good sentence because it's very simple and it's straight to the point. Okay. okay. When, okay. You compare, when you compare, you can say, the dog, what is next? Uh -huh. Oh, um, mm -hmm. 
I don't know. The dog? I don't know. I don't know. The dog? The dog. Is? Is. The dog is. Is the. Is the old. Is older. Than. Older. Next. The cat. Okay. Okay. Right. So, if you notice, right? En la primera, utilizo just el adjective, normal adjective. My car is old. In the second one, I am comparing a cat and, I'm sorry, a dog and a cat. So, that's why the dog is older than the cat. Okay. And with the superlative. Um... I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Aquí yo usted compare en, en, entre todos. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. So you can say um the the dog is uh one more time the oldest animal in my house. Okay? Okay. Yes, so the todos los animals that you have in your house, el dog is the oldest animal. The todos, okay. right? In that one. No se olvide, like, and this is for everybody, use the verb to be. This thing, right? It looks very simple, but uh, sometimes we forget. Thank you so much. Very good, Francisco. Okay? Okay. Great job. Thank you. Also, the next one is going to be for, let me see... Uh, Andrea Esmeralda, thank you. We're safe. Okay, sure. Mm. Okay. Is guardar in Spanish right? Uh, yeah, no. Safe no. is seguro. Safe, okay. Mm. Guardar is keep. Mm. My country is safe. Very good. My country is safer than uh, Guatemala. That is correct. Also. Very good. And my country is the most sa safest in no. the Central America. Not the most. Not the most. Okay. So no. just is the safest. The safest. In Central America. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Diana Cristabel, with the small, please. The smaller and the smallest. Okay. Um, <coughs> my teacher is smaller, but um, Excuse brothers. Me. Excuse huh? me. No, cuando es con altura, vamos a ocupar short. Yes, I see. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> no es que me okay. esté defendiendo, right? Uh. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> Yeah, okay, but okay, con, okay. con altura sí vamos a ocupar short, ¿ok? Ok, so. Mm. Um, so, entonces, my t-shirt is short. <laughs> ok, entonces, si puedo decir, I can say, my. You can describe animals, objects, animals. things, and okay. also uh, places with, with the small, ¿ok? Ok, my cat is small, but brothers dog is a smaller dog that me that my cat yes that is correct but yeah. my grandpa my grandpa's um horse is the worsted is this the smallest? It's the smallest. Okay. It's the smallest than. Eh, eh, no one. Well, eh, the last one está comparando with todos, right? So you don't okay. need to use that. So just correct me. In the last one, you say my grandpa's cat mm -hmm. or horse. Horse. A horse. What is a horse? Prieto a sabache, right? Yes. That is a horse. Okay. Yes. Acuérdese que un horse, y el primero empezó con un dog, right? My yeah. dog is uh -huh. small, right? And then 
my brother's, but my brother's dog is, is smaller than mine. Y luego vamos, si un horse, acuérdense que un horse, like, uh, like, in real life, is it, bigger, you yes. know, it's bigger than, than, than a dog, okay? So, tiene que ocupar another, another uh, thing, okay? Just because of the realia, right? You know what I mean? In real life, it's big. A horse is big, okay? So, you need to change the animal. Or maybe you can still talk about dogs, but use like. Okay. So I can they... say. Uh -huh. But the smallest eat more. No, maybe you can say, no. oh, but my grandpa's dog is the smallest. Um... Yeah. Okay. So in that one, that, that means like out of all the dogs that you have in your house or like, you know, like grandpa's dog is the smallest. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much. The last one is going to be for you, Gerardo, Jose. Gerardo with wet. Can you participate, Gerardo? Mm, yes, of course. Oh, wonderful, yeah. please. Okay, I'll let you see. Wet, right? Yep. Um, the weather of the you can use clothes if you want. I'm sorry. Yeah, clothes like jackets, pants, t shirts. I can adjust uh, weather. Yeah. The uh, the weather of the beach is wet. Hmm. Well, it, like what happened is with the context. You know what I mean. At the beach, it sometimes it's dry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. yeah for example, yeah. here in San Salvador, when you go to like, uh, the coast, right? And you go to La Libertad, you see like everything is dry. It's a second of right? Because it's like, it's dry, you know, it's the dry season. It's, it's, it's summer. But that's why I'm telling you can use clothes, for example, a jacket, right? Okay. Well, uh, my teacher is wet. Exactly. Very good. Mm, my, my, ch my, my charts are wetter than. Um, my brother shows exactly very good. Um, my my shoes my shoes are the best the best feet the best feet. Yeah. That is correct. My shoes are the wettest. My shoes are the wettest, right? Very good. Also, you can add a compliment like my shoes are the wettest in the house. Very good. So this is the way we do it. Don't forget that when we compare, we use um, two things to compare. And when we do superlative, well, we compare in a group of people. Here we have some examples, okay? Let's take a, Jesus Christ. Let's take a look of this one, right? Uh, bad water, Basil, in California's Death Valley is the hottest, is the lowest point in North America. Suez Canal joins the Mediterranean and Red Seas. It's 90, 190 kilometers and 18 miles long. It's longer than the Panama Canal. What about the number three? Is a comparative or superlative? Uh -huh. Superlative. Okay, superlative. So what is the correct answer? Superlative. 
wettest. Exactly, right. The wettest. Very good. It's the wettest place on earth. What about number four? Comparative or superlative? Comparative. Comparative. Very good. No, I don't think that is comparative. It's going to be superlative, isn't it? In the world. Okay, so Canada and Russia are the largest. The largest, very good. The largest uh, countries in the world, very good. Russia is then Canada. Comparative or superlative? Comparative. I'm sorry, that is incorrect because we are comparing. Russia is larger than is larger than Canada. Yes. <sighs> Russia is larger than Canada. It's comparative. Exactly. Uh -huh. it I is. say it's comparative and you say it's not correct. Oh, I apologize. Because My I bad. Yeah. I'm sorry, okay? Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm getting tired. I'm sorry, okay? okay? Never mind. I'm sorry. My bad. Yes, this is comparative. Comparative is larger than Canada. Very good. Number six, comparative of superlative. Superlative? Oh, that's correct. Very good. So what is the correct uh, um adjective? The highest. The highest, that is correct. Right? The highest. Is the highest. Okay. What about number seven? Comparative or superlative? Superlative. One more time. Thank you so much, Catherine and Suleyma. We have superlative. So what is the correct answer? The driest. The driest. Very good. That's correct. Wonderful. Great job. The driest place in the world. What about number eight? Comparative or superlative? Superlative. That is correct. Very good. So, uh, Roberto Carlos, what is the uh, adjective? The hottest. Hey, that's correct. The hottest. Don't forget the, the uh, double T. The hottest. Very good. What about number nine? Comparative. A comparative. That is correct. What is the correct answer? Colder. Colder than. Don't forget that. Yeah, colder than any other place in the world. Number nine, number 10, Himalayas are comparative or superlative? Comparative. Do we have another, do we have another? I'm sorry, this one is going to be um, superlative. Okay, so the Himalayas are son of... Uh-huh. Most dangerous. The most, very good. The most dangerous. The most dangerous, okay. Uh, mountains to climb. Number 11, Mont Blanc. Blanc. In the French Alps, S. Comparative or superlative? Superlative. I'm sorry. The Mediterranean in the Swiss Alps. This so, is comparative. Exactly, because I have two, right? Is the, is higher than. Higher than. Higher than, because I have two, right? Very good. What about the number 12? Comparative or superlative? Comparative. Comparative, Kathy, that is correct. So we're going to have, what is the correct um, answer here? Deeper than. Oh, beautiful. That's correct. Deeper than. Okay. So, yes, remember, comparative, we need to compare with something else. And superlative, we compare like in a group. Yes. Thank you so much for being here.
That was very nice. Thank you for your participation. Enjoy your night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care. Good night, Good night, Good night everybody. Night. Great job. Good night. Keep Good night. Practicing and keep learning at home. Bye bye. Thank you.